Hello everybody, Lego like Wizzy here. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble the Super Square One. So the variant I'm going to show you today is the Star One. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But basically all you'll need is a little tiny screwdriver. So you're basically going to get the smallest flathead screwdriver that you can find. So the way that this is held together is there's a little screw going right through the center of it. And the first step is you have to find the screw. So the best way is to just go around and lifting up pieces and holding it up to the light and seeing if you can find a little screw. On mine, I see there's a little gap here. And this is actually the screw poking out from the other side. So the screw head is right here and it's poking out from there. And so I can see that the screw is right here. And if we look on the other side, you can actually see the screw head. So once you have found the screw head, since it is in the very middle of a piece, you want to get it so it's in the intersection so you can fit your screwdriver in better. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn the middle layer halfway, just like that. And this way you can't turn it. Just make it to go halfway through. Then look in and I see the screw head is right in the middle of those two uh, sections of pieces. So what you're going to simply do now is just stick your screwdriver in. And I can look in here from the side, looking in here, and I can see a screw. And I'm just gonna like turn it around until it like catches and gets inside. It may be a little bit difficult to do this. Okay, I think I got it in. So now I'm just gonna turn it. And it will seem all like catchy, but just don't worry. It, uh, as long as you're careful with it, it won't break or anything. Okay, here we go. It's getting easier to turn and the pieces are getting looser, so uh, we'll just completely take the screw out. So just keep on turning it. Here we go. And you see, it will just completely come apart. And make sure you do not lose this little plastic washer from the middle. And so at this point, you can simply just take all these pieces off. And you see I have the screw here, and I have the spring, and a little washer on it. And you make sure you don't lose those either. So I'm just going to set these off to the side. So you see here are all the pieces. These are the two inner pieces. And this is basically what it all rotates around of. And so now, to start the assembly, we're basically going to sort all these pieces out. And we're basically going to sort it into two categories. The one that have a sticker on top. So you see this has a white sticker. It says yellow. And so sort those into one category and sort the ones that don't have any stickers into another category. So to begin, I'm just going to grab one of these sides. This is the side that does not have the screw head on it. I'm just going to start with that because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we'll just find a piece that has two of the same colors on it and white because I'm just going to start with white. And then we'll put it on and then we'll find another piece that has white and blue on it. So this one has white and blue on it and make sure it's one that does not have double colors. So this one will be uh, blue and orange and I can see here it'll fit just like that, because if we were to put it in here, it wouldn't fit because it has orange. And so we'll actually put it on, in on this side, and we'll move this all the way over. And now the orange piece will go right here. So we'll find orange. This one has white and orange, orange. And we'll put it just like that. And now you just repeat with all those same colors all the way down. So you see here's blue, blue. Here is blue, orange. And here is orange, orange. So just keep doing that all the way down. And here we go, last layer, and just make sure you have the ones with no stickers in the middle and the ones with the yellow stickers on the top. Okay, and here we go, we have one half of it done. So we'll set this on the table, and then just complete the other half just as you just did. So what I'm going to do at this point is that I'm actually going to misalign one of these layers a little bit and then just lubricate on the inside of each of these rows. And so I lubricated that plenty and I'm actually going to keep it misaligned like this and make sure it's about halfway on. And then we're going to take one row off 
and just set it down to the side. Now what we're going to do, making sure it's the side that the screw goes on, um, we'll just get the screw and stick it up through the hole. Just like that. And there we go, make sure none of the pieces fall off. And then we'll grab the little washer that goes in between. Oops. Just put the tiniest little bit of lubricant on that side. Washer and a tiny bit more lubricant. And now we can simply line these layers back up. Just like that, make sure it's about halfway through. Just like that. And then we can actually put this layer back on. Just like that. And now at this point, we're actually going to pick up this layer. And uh, let's see, it goes on this way because those both whites are on that face. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to misline this layer a little bit too. Just like that, so it's sticking up. And then I'm looking through and we'll just stick that screw into the hole. Maybe a little bit difficult. And it's actually going to want to come back into alignment while you're doing this, which is fine, at least for the moment. And now what you're going to do, once it gets on there so it's about to be threaded in, is you'll find the screw again and misline it again. So this will be very difficult to do, but it's possible. I've done it. <laughs> and then just grab the screw with your screwdriver and just start screwing it in. And eventually it'll get more aligned together and you'll be able to rotate it more and it'll get easier. Okay, here we go. I got a little bit more together. And so we can line up the layers again and then misline the middle layer and then just continue screwing it in until it gets tight. And here we go. It's starting to get tight. So we'll just keep on screwing until we can't screw anymore. And I think that's just about all it's going to go. And so now I'm just going to work in this lube a little bit just by turning these layers. I don't want to scramble it yet. And here we go. Just about finished. Now we can line these up. And just, if you want, you can scramble it up. I'm not going to do it yet because I actually can't solve it. And it should work just like normal. It'll take a little bit to get the lube worked in on that washer. But once it is, it'll turn a lot better than it actually did. So that's just about it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, like you couldn't get it back together and you need help, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. And if you have any other questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!